This is a Java code. Now this is the first code which you write in Java. Of course not welcome to the Telisco, but you say hello world. The question is, will this work? Now if you have ever seen the Java code or the first code of Java, we write multiple lines of code, right? We mentioned the class, class name, then public static void main in bracket string ARGS, and then you try to print something, and then you close the brackets. But then this is the code, and I'm asking you, will this work? Let me know your answer in the comment section. Now the answer is yes. Not now, but then in September, when we get Java 21, this will work. Okay, in fact, we have already made a theory video about it, the biggest update for learners and trainers, which is in Java 21, and that is you don't need to write that bulky code to start with. Now, of course, that code actually makes sense, which you can see on the screen. This code actually makes sense when you are a Java developer. And if you ask any Java developer, will you prefer the, this syntax or this one, they will prefer this one is because it makes much more sense. It explains what it, what it is doing. But then as a learner, when you're learning a language for the first time, this is not something which you want to see. This is something you want to see, right? And that's where Java 21 now coming up with this feature where to learn something like this will be very easy. But how will you get this? Of course, for that, you have to wait till September when we get the official release of Java 21. But we can use the early release. In fact, after making that video, I was waiting for the release where they will introduce this particular section and now we have it. So if you want to use this, of course you can use any ID and I'm using VS Code now and in VS Code is basically giving an error. It says this is not expected in Java. You cannot start with void. Either mention a class or a record, but void is not something they're looking for. So IDE will take some time. It can be VS Code, IntelliJ. All these IDEs will update themselves once we get the official release. But at this point, VS Code says there's a problem, but we'll solve that, okay? We'll not, we'll not solve the errors, but then we will be able to run this. Now, if you want to compile this, and if you want to run this, you have to make sure that in your machine, you have Java 21. If I can check here, the version of Java I have is Java 21, if you can see. So this is EA, which is early release or early access. And this is when you'll be getting the official uh, release, which is 19th September. But then we can use the early release. So that's my Java version. How will you get this? It's very simple. Just go to this website, which is jdk.java.net slash 21. This is where you will get the download. And you can see uh, based on the OS, you can select one. I'm using the Windows version, and that's why I'm, I'm going to download this zip. Uh, depending upon your OS, you can select any of this. And then once you got download, you have to also make sure that you set the environment variables. So example, if I check my environment variables here, and if I go to path, you can see I have the open dedicate 21. So make sure that you set the path. Now, which path you have to copy here? So the bin path. So once you download it, unzip it, search for the bin folder. You will find the bin folder here. Let me show you. So after the unzipping, this is what you will get. Go into JDK21 and in this go to bin. This is a path which you want to copy. So copy it from here and paste it inside this path. So create new or if you have an older version of Java, just replace the path and you're good to go. Now once you have updated this, you just have to restart your terminal because restarting of terminal is important. And once you do that, you will get this version and now you can compile this. How will you compile this? It's very simple. Let me clear the screen and let me just take this bit up. So basically you have to type Java C, that's how you compile, right? So Java C demo.java, that's my file name. And when I say enter, okay, it worked. That's weird. It should have given me some, some error, which I was expecting. Uh, let me try once again. Let me just clear, compile. And you can see we got an error. It says error unnamed class are preview. Okay, so the thing is, this type of feature is into preview version, right? So if you want to use a preview, you have to mention this particular option there. Now, how will you do it? So you have to say Java C. First, you have to mention the release. So the release version is 21. And then you have to also say enable preview because that's what you have seen the option there, right? And then you have to mention the file name, which is demo.java, enter. And now you can see there is no problem. It compiled and you also got a class file. So when I uh, published the first video, 
I saw a few comments by saying, you know, this is now Java is not object oriented, there is no class, because of course, right, the things which start with class. The thing is, in Java 21, they are coming with something called unnamed class. So yes, there is a class. Behind the scene, this, all these things are going into a class. Okay, so it is object oriented. Now, how do we run this? Again, you have to say Java C, and this time also you have to say enable preview, and then you have to mention the class name, which is demo, and you can see the output, it says, welcome to the disco. So yeah, so this is something exciting which is coming up in Java 21 and now learning Java is easy.